The spirit of martial arts is the essence of martial arts. It was like a meal. If we all got together and said, hey, we're going to have a meal, but there's no food or water, then it's something else, right? That's the essence, the bread, the meat, the salad, whatever you eat. Now, if I go to martial arts and say, we're going to take the emphasis off the combat skills, then it's like an empty wrapper, you know? An empty wrapper for a, a protein bar. You're supposed to throw it away. It's useless now. The whole purpose of it is the combat skills using the spirit, the light contact, which conquers the dark. That's why Lucifer parades as a light angel, because he wants to prove that he is the brightest, that his argument is the best, right? He's the brightest, he's the most brilliant in, 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 in his eyes, and that his argument is the best. Okay? He wants to be the brightest star. But no. There's only one morning star. There's only one bright star that matters, and that is the sun. So when you tell the story of the stars as if all the stars are equal, you're making Lucifer's argument. Well, what about the rest of us? Okay, that's what happened in, in heaven. The fallen angel said, we're a bunch of communist fucking godless garbage, and we don't, we don't value your opinion, God. That's what caused the falling out. Their argument was that their lesser minds together mean more than God's supreme mind. Was that not their argument? Did they not do it together? And what made them do it together? They didn't do it by themselves. It was group think that caused them to betray God. Any thoughts on that? You know I'm referring to the angels when they fell out of grace? They said together, Azazel, Lucifer, the fallen angels, they said, we are going to lust for women. We're going to fall out of grace. We're going to descend. We're going to defy God. We know it's going to cost us our ass. But Lucifer led the charge. In the Quran, it says they refused to pray. Uh, they refused to bow, excuse me, to Adam when God placed him before him. So they said, look, we know better. We've been doing this a long time. We know better. So excuse me if I do not respect a bunch of quote-unquote experts who aren't really qualified because you need the spirit of God to be qualified to be a leader, to be qualified to be the top martial artist. Telling me that I'm wrong when in their prime they couldn't beat me. And right now they can't beat me. So what is martial arts if you could never beat me right now? How could you possibly be above me when in your prime you couldn't beat me? And right now, you could not beat me. No, no, no. I am the top martial artist. So I say to you now, who do you think is the top martial artist? Some fogey from a made-up martial arts system, some hand-me-down martial arts system, who's a 15th degree black belt, who couldn't beat me in his prime and can't beat me now. Does he have more right to say he's the top martial artist than I do? No, I think it's the person that can back their shit up like... If you say you can kick ass, then you're going to kick ass. But as far as I've known you, I mean, you definitely can back your shit up. So. And also you got to consider that martial arts means war arts. So you know those trends, you see me stabbing with a knife, right? Right. Can you imagine somebody else being able to beat me knife to knife? I'm going to outmaneuver them. I'm going to stick them. That is combat. The <laughs> short sword of the Romans, the Greeks, okay, the dagger, the Akenga knife. The knives, the countless knives, the butterfly knives, the navalas, I believe they're called, from the book that we read, um, the capoeiras, you know, the but, uh, the, 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 you know, the butterfly knives, the, the, um, from uh, kung fu, then you know, and the ones that you know you swing around. Um, there are countless knives, throwing knives. Okay, a knife is a very key weapon in warfare. So is a sword. So is a spear. I would demolish them with any of those weapons. And sparring shows the transferable skills that allows me to do it. I've shown my ability to spin with a weapon in my hand just like I can spin without one, right? So the same way I dodge a kick or a blow, I dodge a strike. You think it's about time that I get my credit after 20 plus years of doing martial arts and 20 years of being a grand champion with the trophy to prove it? I mean, I'm over I think that in itself, like, proves 
right there. And if anybody should have any questions, you know, ask. I'm over a hundred victories, no losses. Support. And and I do fifteen hits. You know, I've on record I have fifteen hits from eighty four inch reach, you know, range, uh, in one point two to one point three seconds with blue taekwondo karate sparring gloves on and i bring this up all the time in the hope that one day somebody will hear it and understand the relevance and that god will be glorified because i don't know how i did it certainly when i'm on psych meds or i'm suffering the side effects or i'm drunk or high or i'm i'm not feeling you know the spirit i can't do it i did a world record that i cannot otherwise do because i achieved a zone where god is all that matters so yes Religion is a part of martial arts. Yes, spirituality is a part of martial arts. Yes, there are atheists trying to corrupt martial arts. Do you think I'm wrong? I think you're entitled to your opinion, you know? If you were an atheist and you, and you saw the religious overtones and implications of martial arts, would you be pro-martial arts? Or would you, if you, you were against it, no. You, that means you're against it. You try to do one of two things, right? You try to destroy it. Or you try to redefine it. It's the same thing they're doing with marriage and everything else. The people who are against Christian principles and core values. Cultural values. Transferable values. Because they're common. Shared values. Some food for thought.